Today I continue the hunt to find the perfect Wolverine in this big, huge case that comes loaded down with tons of stuff. Is it gonna be the best? I don't know. That's the whole point of this video. Now this is an older-ish thing. They run about $150 average these days. The problem is sometimes with soft goods is that they might look a little weird on 112 and I do have some issues from photos that I've seen. Let's find out if it's the same problem when we look at it with our eyeballs. As far as boxes go that you keep, this is definitely one you keep. I do wish that it was a lunch box though because it would add a little bit more novelty to it. And then, you know, some some of you would probably actually use it as a lunchbox when you go to work, even if you work from home, which is the only time you should do that. <laughs> Here's a little bit of information about it. It's basically saying, hey, this stuff's high end. It's not a toy. Be careful with it. Things could, could go bad. I don't know. I didn't read it. And then here you get an actual instruction sheet, which I love. So you get this setup. It tells you, hey, look, folks. We made some effects because we're Mezco and we do that sometimes, most of the time. And then here's all kinds of other goodies, bunch of stuff that got, got to plugs into things with things. Uh, it's, it lights up, which is amazing. So value wise, I think this thing already right off the bat is one of the best. As you can see, there's a bunch going on here. This is quite an exciting setup as far as a uh, Wolverine figure goes. And you can see the soft goods coming through, the, all that plastic, but lots and lots of heads, hands, effects, this is what makes it so good. More effects, a base, stand, a baggie, and your uh, specialty item of the Sentinel base, which, uh, that's crazy. I went to a local shop called Turbines to Speed Comics and Toys. It's a brand new spot up in Hillsboro, North Carolina. Let's get into it, you're here for this. Seems a little silly to take it all out, put it on the desk, make you look at it the same way it is here. No, well, that's called extra work for no reason. Let's go ahead and start over here with the Sentinel base. Now this is obviously much more comic inspired. You could tell that by the coloring and the look of it does not have the animation look, but my goodness, this thing is beautiful. It's got so much paint on it, so much sculpting, and it's very well executed. And then look at this with the base and it actually comes with batteries. You don't have to buy them separately. This is so nice. And then that hole, because you can actually take this out of the front here and have this eyeball, or you can take it out and have him holding it or something. You can do whatever you want. It's it's a toy, but it's not a toy. It's a collectible, you know, whatever. Play with it like a toy. Now with lighting up this space, it's an interesting thing because it's really not something you're gonna leave on all the time. So it's just kind of like a fun little kind of gimmicky thing, I guess. You turn it on here and then you press in on this button and now that flickers, which is pretty sweet. And then that lights up. And then you get a little bit of light here in the chest plate, which is honestly, this looks so good. This is what that extra eyeball looks like, which is really nice. Again, good sculpt work, nice paint work. The dig it, man. Obviously there are some effects over here, but we wanna first start with this base, which is gonna be an alternative way to display your Wolverine. If you don't wanna have the Sentinel, you got this thing, which is a nice X logo, a little peg there, so you can do a foot peg, or if you remove that. Now, obviously you're supposed to be able to remove this peg, but it is it is like seriously locked in there. And I don't know whether it's supposed to go from the top or the bottom, but I can't get it at all from either direction. Hopefully I figure it out. I'll just have to heat this up probably with a hairdryer. In that box, you also have this slash effect, which is very iconic looks gorgeous. This is the kind of stuff that I really wanted to have in the Mafex box. And I'm really bummed that it didn't have this kind of item in there. And then of course you get a little baggie to store all your goodies if you don't want to keep your stuff in the plastic. Moving on to our main boy, the whole reason you get this thing is for this guy, right? To see if he's actually awesome or just a waste of your money. Let's look at this alternate face here, looking really nice. And it's got this matte finish, which I'm loving right off the bat. Look at all this texture going on in his cowl or whatever this is called. I don't know, his mask? <laughs> but what do you call these pieces? Doesn't matter, looks stunning. This is like the detail here is, is really, really good. Here you go, the nice gritting teeth, same setup as we saw before. So the same mask, the same texture and coloring and everything. This is so, so nice. My God, why, why did I wait so long to get this? And then you get this one, which is kind of a more neutral pose. You know, he's always a little grumpy. And you get this beautiful masterpiece here, which is supposed to be like, you can see his adamantium through these scars or the cut up bits. Now, the only thing on the face is a little off because you wouldn't see adamantium like that, right? Because 
that's just skin <laughs> so that's kind of a weird spot but the rest of it that's that's really really nice this is such a cool concept too to have a battle damaged wolverine which you don't see that often if really at all up next you get this kind of uh vintage look i guess uh, what is this is this like the first iteration of wolverine when he's fighting the, the hulk is that right i don't know doesn't matter i'm not a comic expert i'm barely a this expert and you get an unmasked head which looks super nice my goodness i love that matte finish on the skin it really helps separate the hair which does have some shine to it like a semi-gloss this is such a beautiful setup. And then that unmasked head would be partnered with this, which is his cowl, right? Pulled down over his shoulders. So that's gonna be really fun to mess around with. And if you wanna support the channel, then head over to Kofi, become a member, get discounts on everything that I offer over there. Tons and tons of print goods. Click the link, become a member, support the show, be my best friend now. That's guaranteed. And then you get this alternate head, which is kind of like the other one, but what's so what's so different about this? His hair? Yeah, so the one we're looking at now, this has kind of got that older look. Now the head that is on him by default is this one, which is kind of a grumpy face boy, but it's looking pretty good. Don't look at the rest of it because we gotta come back to it because it is the one thing we're starting to look at where the soft goods don't quite match up the plastic. And we have some effects in here, so I wanna look at those. You got this slashing effect, which is stunning. This is such a beautiful piece of, uh, of effect, of plastic. <laughs> I love stuff like this. And then you get this one here, which is a nice kind of curved slash effect. Beautiful. You got this one here. So you're really getting loaded down. I mean, the value behind this one is incredible. I love it so much already. Then you get this one, which is a nice longer curved slash. You get an alternate belt in the box, which is interesting. So you can have the different looks depending on which Wolverine you're trying to build here. But the nice red and gold combo, I love that look. And as you can see, you get an alternate belt buckle in here. So if you want to have the X logo, look at that. A little more classic looking, I think, with the X logo. Let's move on to hands. There's a bunch of them. So on the right side, you get this pointing finger, which is also pretty classic. You know, he's, he's calling you out, bub. Left side, you get this gripping hand for whatever, because he doesn't have anything to grip. Maybe that eyeball or something. Uh, or whatever you want to put in his hand. How about that? You can just have fun, folks. Stop, stop telling, stop letting people tell you how to how to do stuff. Anyway, let me show you how this works. <laughs> That's so stupid. You get this one, which is a gripping hand. It looks uh, it's a little bit different from the one we just saw on the left side. Like the the positioning of the fingers are a little bit different. So uh, it's maybe more of like a stance hand like ready to fight kind of thing so here's that kind of stance hand that we were just looking at but now with these claws in it and the very iconic shape for these claws this is looking really nice so you get a left and right of that so then you get this one which is a fist left and right side more uh you know standard for a wolverine and then the special thing in here is that you get these bone claws so you get a left and right of this which is looking really, really nice. If you want the bone claws out, you just get the fist to set up. But man, that's such a cool look. It's very rare that you see that as well. So moving on, we've got finally to the main part of the show here. Oh, he's got a little snag in his cloth goods. Uh, soft goods? His cloth clothing soft goods. Anyway, we look at that face, which is uh, definitely not the one I would ever have on here, but it's it looks good nonetheless. But looking at this neck plastic to soft goods is the one thing about this figure that always stood out to me in photos. It's just like, oh, it's it's so like blatant. But in person, it's honestly, it's not nearly as bad. And if you get him in a really good pose, I think you can kind of hide most of it. The back is going to be the most unsightly part of it because that stitching. Man, this is this is such a nice looking figure. He's got his sculpting down through here with the arm hair looking real nice and then the the leather look has continued all the way through like the pads and his gloves this is really nice and then of course he's got his punching fists with no claws on by default but the soft goods other than that little snag which really sucks is looking really good so that belt obviously we know can be swapped out now the only thing with soft goods like this on joints is that sometimes they can look a little goofy on camera the, these shadows are not picking up as well. So hopefully in the B-roll, you'll see how defined these muscles are going through here. And, and uh, you'll kind of get a better idea of what that looks like in person, because there's actually some nice sculpting going on underneath that is really exaggerated because of the soft goods. And I think it's mostly working for it. With soft goods, things like this, you know, doing different poses, you could potentially stretch these things out. So you want to 
always want to be very careful not to like leave something in a particular pose if it's stretching or pulling. Don't overdo it to where you break a stitch because then you're in serious trouble. 112 scale soft goods like this, this seems okay, but sometimes up here where this like weird bunching can happen, that's when things start to look a little odd but maybe I can get some good poses. And mostly he seems okay, I think, especially having this exaggerated chest muscle so that nothing is like really bunching up in that area. So this is, this is working really, really well for me. I like this Wolverine. Now, obviously if I'm trying to do a Wolverine and Deadpool, it, it gets tough, right? Because we don't have anything that looks like Hugh Jackman other than the Hot Toys figure, which is stunning but it's huge, it's one six scale, so like 12 or 13 inches. So trying to find something at this scale that works well with Deadpool, that's our biggest challenge. And I don't, I mean, I love this thing a lot so far. I hate looking at this head though, so let's see if swapping that thing out makes him look a little bit, a little bit better. The swapping the head definitely helps this guy out. Now, here's my issue with it so far, is that there's so much going on in like the, the the gloves and the armor with all these layers and extra textures and stuff. And then you get to this body and it's super, super flat. I wish that there was like layers of stitching, like just accentuate stuff, make it look a little bit more like this because this is clearly not what we expect, right? This isn't necessarily comic look because he just has like this flat shoulder blades, but this is kind of competing with that. And I would just say, you know, have some cuts and stitching to add some depth to this so you could hide some of the stitches and look a little bit more tactical like the rest of his gear. Now, I don't have the Mayfex one anymore because that wasn't mine anyway. That was Vex and Toys who sent that to me. So I can't compare them in person here, but I can throw him up on the screen. You can kind of get an idea on it. But this is, this is really nice. And for the going rate of this figure and the going rate of that Mayfex figure, I would say this certainly is the best value. You get tons and tons of stuff. Yeah, it even costs more with the going rate of the two of them, but this is, this is awesome. And we got a couple other things to check out with this Wolverine, like these uh, Deadpool options. My favorite Deadpool so far is the SH Figure Arts one, the first movie version, which looks more like what we're gonna get from Deadpool and Wolverine. The brighter red is definitely the way to do it. Articulation's perfect, matte finish, all that stuff. Marvel Legends for $25. Definitely a great value, good figure. There's, you know, it has its issues, like it's shiny and stuff, but it's still great. But which one does he work best with? Because Mezco's labeled as 112, they're not really 112, and it seems like nobody's really 112 anymore except for maybe Figma. So let's see these guys compared to each other. Now, if you're wanting a Hugh Jackman Wolverine, he's obviously tall and not short like comics, so this is kind of working, even though his head's really big, but you could have these two guys together or let's see what he looks like with the SH Figure Arts. Definitely bigger, huge, <laughs> that's huge Jackman. Let's uh, let's try a neutral head to see if that is uh, less intense looking. I don't know. I mean, maybe this Wolverine is a little too stocky to be a good partner with him because now he just looks too thin. Ryan Reynolds isn't a tiny guy. So maybe it's a better fit with the Marvel Legends, which is a bummer because that's my favorite Deadpool. This so far is my favorite Wolverine, and now these two look better together. Mm, darn it. Can I use these Hugh Jackman heads from the Marvel Legends one? They don't snap in, which is unfortunate. Kind of wide enough to where you can just kind of get it on there, and look at that. That actually works really well. Now the skin tone's a little different. This is a little more yellowed than that one, but my goodness, this might be the closest we've ever gotten so far to having a Wolverine that is accurate the Deadpool and Wolverine. Now, there's probably somebody that's already done this over on Instagram or something, like a toy photographer, but this is kind of, uh, this is great. This is really fun. Not something I was thinking of when I got this Wolverine. Being able to do that, I'll have to revisit the instructions. These don't seem to like stick on super well, but there you go with one of the effects happening. Hugh Jackman, <laughs> looking awesome. Oh, see what I mean? So I found so far, the best version of a Wolverine, even if we have to kind of, you know, swap around the head sculpts if I want it to be the movie version. Um, the, the downside is that I have to do Marvel Legends Deadpool to scale with this guy, because that one's not as good. Ugh. I think the next Wolverine that I'll have on this channel to review to see if we can match up the best 
for the Deadpool that I love is going to be this one, which you can get right now on 5K Toys. It's a pre-order as of recording this video. But there you have it, folks. If you enjoyed this review and you want to see some more with this Deadpool and Wolverine, then click the top link there. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.